Hi everyone, it's the boy Sean. Welcome back to another Summoner's Summon video. Today we're playing with Padder the Dark Druid. This is not my account, it's a viewer's account. This unit right here is arguably the best immunity unit out there in the game, in my opinion, because he has a cleanse, full cleanse, not one harmful effect, it's a full cleanse, and two turn immunity. Also, if he's in this form, you can't CC him. He remove all his harmful effect upon his turn when you CC him. It's like Juno, but a little bit different. When you put any debuff on Juno, it will cleanse. But this thing will only cleanse when you put stun sleep freeze on him. So if you put armor break, don't worry, it's gonna be there. He has a stun, a non-glancing stun with a 30% chance on default attack. So if you ruin him on violent, he's on despair as well. <laughs> it's crazy. This skill is pretty normal. It just do a pretty good damage based on max HP. He's a HP unit. He does damage based on max HP. Come on, come to us. The fire one. The fire one. <laughs> so today we're going to do a little bit of RT optimization for 4x. Let's take a look at his profile to get some context. Okay. So. World Arena Fighter 1. So after looking at all these, I immediately suggest to him that he need to farm Reef Raid as soon as possible because you don't want to miss out on re Stone every single week. It's just so important to get that 3 re every single week because when you miss it, it's over. And re packs are pretty expensive and one re Stone with a little bit of luck, okay, with a lot of luck, you can turn a trash rune into the best rune you ever get. Also, I recommend him to like use twins to farm dragon because he has twins and he's not using it in his dragon's team, which is kind of annoying. I'm not roasting, okay? I'm suggesting. When I look at his account, I, I storage all the mons that are not good for RTA. There are five key units right here. Padder for immunity, Hathor for CC, Molong for CC and damage. Verrat for CC, Platy for CC, damage, and sustainability. Occasional pick can be Delphoi, can be Monkey, can be Orion, and I think that's pretty much it for his sub RTA. He has a Fran going to get 6 star, I think, because the Fran get max skill, and when you pair the Fran with Padder, I think the immunity will be pretty solid. Helena has no skill up, so don't bother with it. Even the Molong doesn't have skill up because he told me that I'm not focusing on RTA so I don't skill up Molong. But in my opinion, you should always skill up your Molong because he's a beast in guild battle and you're probably going to do guild battle every single day and with Molong in a team, you can auto somebody, you know? Like Molong, Fish, Monkey or something like that, you can auto people. And Molong is beast on defense as well so get you more points. More points mean more scroll in guild battle, more towers, blah blah blah, you know? So always skill up your Molong. Padder is currently on speed, HP, HP, violent broken, but for an immunity unit, it's super important to get some sort of wheel runes on this guy. So let me check the wheel section. Man, I can sell like, I think more than half his rune storage right now. The thing about this kind of unit is that it has cooldown. And when you have cooldown, you are vulnerable against Hathor, no not Hathor, Oki, Gany, Sekhmet, those cooldown reset, and when you Re and when you get reset it, it's over for this guy. No matter how OP he is, when you have cooldown. So I think Wurun is very, very important when you're not fast. Okay, Wheel on Delphoi, very good. So I can go double immunity, but Hathor doesn't have Wheel though. And Hathor is faster than Delphoi, so I can't cleanse Hathor if she gets stunned. So I need Delphoi to move before Hathor. So I'm gonna make Hathor slower, okay? She has 10, 4, okay, I need to make her, I want to make Hathor a bit slower and on will if possible. Oh lord, I don't have a lot of option here. Alright, right now, Delphoi is faster than Hathor, so she can cleanse Hathor before anything happens. Same goes for Padder, they all need to be faster than Hathor. Okay. Molong is slower, Fish is slower, it's okay. Verat is on wheel as well. I think Verat is a bit too fast. Yeah, Verat is a bit too fast. 
but Varan has slow beat speed base, so okay, still a bit too fast in my opinion, and to make Varan a bit slower. So Pada, in my opinion, is a must last pick for him all the time because he bring in Mewdy, and you pick when you have last pick in Mewdy, you either force people to ban it or they have a very hard time to deal with his immunity. And once again, Pada is not invincible. Pada is still weak against cooldown reset. And Druid is not like Pony, they can reset their cooldown back very fast. Druid is still very susceptible to cooldown reset. Okay, first pick, I will always go with Molong. Because it's just too strong, I think I'm gonna go with Molong Hathor first pick. So it will, he will think that I'm gonna go for CC. It's gonna go for Varad and John. This is where you wanna go with Immunity immediately as well. I'm gonna go with Delphoi because there are two CC on the side, and I'm gonna go with I need a threat. I'm gonna go with Platy. So these are always gonna be the main pick for myself. It's gonna go with Megan. He wanna take the first turn real bad. He may pick Illusion. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Depends. So all my unit have wheel runes. He pick. Uh, ooh, interesting. I'm gonna go with Padder, and I have some strip available, so I'm not too afraid of immunity. And I think I'm gonna take out his damage. Without his damage, it's not gonna do much because I have immunity. Varat's not gonna do much. Juan's not gonna do much. As immunity is easily dealt with with Molong. And Platy. Platy has a hundred percent strip in her in her default attack, so it's pretty solid. Okay. So once Alright, let's see what happened. It's gonna go with his immunity boost. But he'll soon realize that. What can he do? I have four turn immunity. <laughs> okay, gonna try to do that. Snowstorm doesn't work because I have wind element. Too bad, too bad. Gonna try to provoke me, maybe? She gets to provoke. It's not that scary. It's not that scary, it's okay. Stun me. I'm gonna cleanse. Okay. So Moonlight Grey is gonna cleanse everything and put up immunity and I'm gonna transform into the other form. If the enemy doesn't have immunity, I may provoke them as well, which is so crazy. I think the threat right here is gonna be John. Because she heal and she CC. Compared to Varad, it's not that scary. Should I go for this? I think I should go for this. Nice turn on John. Beautiful. Um, What do I wanna do? I'm gonna strip this guy as well. See, the 100% strip is really, really good. Okay, in this form, I heal every single turn, which is insane. <laughs> which is insane, okay? It's crazy. I heal every single turn like a Perna. I stun and default attack like a Perna. I just turn into a Perna. <laughs> I don't have to use the skill immediately to get into Druid form. I can stay into this in this form when I have immunity. You, go, you want to stay in... Oh, shit. I never, I never click. Oh no! <laughs> you want to stay in the beast form when you have immunity, because if you're in druid form, you want to use the passive to cleanse yourself when you're stunned. So it's okay to stay into in the beast form for a while. Alright, I'm gonna reset. I think I'm gonna reset him for no more immunity and stun as well. That's insane. That is actually two turn. Of cooldown reduction denial because when you stun, you can't you can't take cooldown reduction. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna heal up, put up immunity again. This is a very solid team, by the way. If people don't sm snipe your Molong, it's crazy good. But the speed on this team is really low, so I don't think this team can go any further than Fighter Three Maximum Conqueror One. Because when people are faster in the higher rank, they're just gonna nuke you immediately. And when people have more access to stripper, the first turn immunity doesn't mean much after that. Oh lord, the scenario would be perfect here, but he doesn't have one. I will still go for. I think here I can go with Varad. 
I can either go with Varad or Zyros for damage, but oh, look at this. I don't want to go for that. Can go with Theo. Oh god, that crit rate trigger me. But I'm going to go with Theo and I'm going to go for Platy. Because Platy can stun, which is really, really good. So Platy is a very compact unit with stun, heal, revive, strip, cooldown, reset. It's just very, very good. I'm going to go with immunity unit for the last pick. Always. It just throws off guard. If they don't ban it, they can't deal with it. If they ban it, I have every other unit in my plan. And it's just so, so good. I think I'm gonna ban Artemio. Yeah, I'm gonna ban Artemio. I can deal with Camilla late game, just fine. And his plan over there, he wanna take the first turn with Bernard. But when you take the first turn, you need to be impactful in RTA. You need to stun people, you need to one shot something. Or else there's no point getting the first turn. Might as well take the second turn and play slow with immunity. His plan is attack buff, Camilla. I'd rather pick a Theo. I think he couldn't pick Theo because I sort of stole Theo. But at least a Theo is more impactful in the first first round, you know? Oh lord. But Camilla's gonna hurt my Theo though because my Theo's not that great. And the sad thing about my boy is he doesn't heal. But who needs healing? Oh, he does! He heals in peaceful. <laughs> okay, what do I want to kill? I want to kill Cammy because she's a threat. Wow! Great damage. Okay, let's go for the stun. Nice stun. I'm gonna actually heal Theo. Should I heal Theo? I'm gonna heal Theo. No violent. If I violent, I can reset you soon, which is awesome. I'm gonna do more damage. Because I want to bring her down to 70% so Molon can just clap her. Okay, can I stun? Don't crit? Oh shit, I crit. I went for HP leader, right? Not crit rate leader, right? Alright, things doesn't seem to work my way. And Camilla's hard to kill. Maybe I should kill Bernard first. Okay, I'm gonna kill Bernard first. Stun, nice. Okay, she's he's ready to go there. I'm gonna go with the beast form attack to do good damage on him. Crit, nice crit. I'm gonna do this, wild blow, boom. Even if it glanced, it did some decent damage. I'm gonna try and stun something here. Oh, it's a bit tough, it's a bit tough. Okay, pop endure. It's all right though, it's all right. I don't mind. I still have revive. I want to try to maybe armor break platy. Nice armor break. Kill me. Uh, don't want to do reckless just yet. Do some damage here. Oh lord. I'm gonna bring up Theo maybe. But it's pretty risky though. But I'm gonna still gonna do it because Theo's gonna take a hit. I can actually provoke with this as well. Wait, didn't provoke shit. The provoke chance is really low, so you should never rely on the provoke chance. It's good when it happened. But 30% is just garbage, you know? <laughs> Alright, oh no, it's gonna be a dead deal again. Is she gonna heal? She's gonna heal. Because if she didn't, my Molon can just one-shot that thing easily. When the Druid in this form, he's really tanky. And do this, do some damage. I just, I just can't Reckless, yeah? I need her to be a little bit lower. I'm gonna stun and reset just soon. Nice stun. Man, the healing over time is hurting though. Uh, wild blow this girl, boom, transform back. She's low enough for me to reckless, okay? She's low enough. I need to take her out. Her shield and her healing over time, very annoying. Reckless, take her out. Gonna try and perform a good stun on Cam. <laughs> I actually stunned Cammy, what the hell? Okay, what can he do? He can't do anything. The stun chance is not Maxus. Is it Max? I don't think it is. Nice armor break on wind unit. I feel dirty doing that, man. Transform, get a nice provoke. Because this provoke doesn't do damage, it ignores element too, which is nice. Okay, he gave up. This team is just way too strong for a beginner player to deal with, in my opinion. Especially the support from Platy to help Molong does his thing. It's just crazy. Okay, I, I don't really care what people pick, to be honest. When you see CC, you go with Immunity. When you see Immunity, you go with Stripper. RT is just, it's like chess, you know? Every move has sort of a counter to it. You just need to have some counter ready. And you also need to have a game plan ready. So my game plan is always rely on Molong damage or Hearth or CC. And then I pick counter accordingly. 
and the cutter should provide some extra utility to the team. That's why things like Aquila Soha is not that crazy, and things like uh, Molong Triton is better because they provide extra utility. Okay, what the hell is going on here? Panda again, go with fish. So with this team, I actually lack damage. I think if I want to bring in damage, I'm going to replace Delphoi with something. I'm surprised that people are not banning Dark Druid. Is it because people don't know what he does? Or people just think his immunity is trash? I, I don't know. I think it's funny that people don't, don't ban Dark Druid. Okay, should I take out this? I have two, three strippers. So when I bring this kind of team in, I don't care about Wusa that much. I care about the damage that they can do. So I think the skill reset from, from Oki is crazy. If I let Oki through, I may never get to use immunity from Pada. But if I take out Oki, he doesn't have any skill reset through immunity anymore. I should be okay. Like, people default ban is always Wusa. But if you pick carefully with Stripper, Wusa is not that crazy. Right now, the only way he can pull off a reset is for Gany to go nuts on me. But his speed is really fast. They are all around 120 speed. Oh, sh yikes. But you can't really stun my padder. So I think he should have reduced attack by padder. Because if he does this, I can put up Muty. And we're all good. Oh, I proc. Not nice. Okay, I need to somehow deal with this Gany. Nice sleep. Um, should I? Should I? I think I'm gonna go for this. Nice stun. Oh, nice. Violent. Okay. Let's go for Ganny. Straight up. Straight up. Stun him up. Nice increased cooldown. So even if he's violent, he can't reset my team. See? That's why Platy is getting so much more attention in high level RTA. Because of the utility that she bring. Now the reason on Wusa is there. But I'm sorry. It's a bit too late. <laughs> I'm pretty sorry. Nice. That was a good one. He decided to crumble. But too bad. Too bad. It's too late. He should have crumbled first on Molong. Get a violent and do damage on Molong and kill Molong. But I'm sorry man. It's a bit too late. Okay. That Gany should die soon he can't do really do anything because he got reset it by platy so it should be all good you may think that molong and i thought is doing so much work here but without platy reset there i may have lost the stun wasn't enough i needed the reset should i wake them up should i go for the stun no i should never wake them up i have strip so that usa can use his immunity i don't really care i get a violin and bye bye usa immunity it's so crazy. Okay, I'm going to put this up just in case. I haven't learned a single provoke. Right? Like, not a single one. I sleep this thing. Why? Because when I sleep him, no cooldown reduction. And I'm going to follow up with a good stun. Nice stun on the unit that does a lot of damage. Okay. The passive healing from my boy, Padder, is actually pretty solid. Okay, I want to stun Virat. No stun. I'm gonna heal up Molong. Oh, nice violent. Okay, my cooldown reset is ready again, which is awesome. Sad thing is that Hathor is not on violent, so she can't pull off that back to back sleep. But I think we should be okay. I'm a break. Oh shit, I'm a break. Lucky for him, my Molong is not max skill. <laughs> oh shit, is Crumble ready? Okay, not yet. Um, should I go for the stun? The damage doesn't matter. I should go for the stun. Oh, no stun. Feels bad, man. Zero. Oh, the zero land. Okay, I should have gone for the for the second hit to transform back into druid form so that I can cleanse my debuff and put off immunity. That was my bad. That was my bad. Okay, what can you do? Nice healing. Is that having a perna? <laughs> It's like having a front. Okay, that misplay right there, I think, cost me the match. Ah. Man, I love this guy, man. So P. Okay, that, that was a misplay for me. That was a misplay.
in conclusion, Pada, very solid immunity unit, you should always ruin him with violent will, speed, HP, HP, and have some good accuracy on him. You don't need a lot of resistance because he can self cleanse himself from the debuff that you receive, but you need accuracy for the stun. And when the stun land, it's insane. Okay? Also, to provoke. I never provoke anyone. <laughs> But that's it for our review today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoy. I hope you learned something from this. Let me know in the comment what you think about this unit. And I'll see you guys in the next one as soon as possible. Bye!